everybody! My name is Pixie and today we're going to paint the owl. Okay, very awesome, very exciting. And we're going to we're going to use uh, these colors that we have right here. It's a, a very neutral um uh I'll show you on our color wheel. We stay right here on this side of the color wheel. It's just blue with some green and yellow. That's it. It just stays right here. You know, and brown like that, so that the colors are all in, in the same little family of, of colors. And we're gonna paint the, uh, the moon first, then the background, then our stick, then our owl, then our leaves. Okay, and if you're like, oh, there's no way I could paint this, there's no way, right? So when you start something new, your brain should be frustrated and confused at first. And you're like, what? What is she talking about? And then your brain goes, oh, I think I understand it. Okay, that's not hard. And then it becomes easy. Okay, so we're rooting for that easy part, but it usually comes a lot later. So we're going to paint our moon first. And when we paint, we worry about shape, color, and texture. Right? And I'm pinned, right, teachers? I'm all big. So um, I want to, eat, when you look at my moon, how many colors do you see there? Well, white color, right? And then there's also this brighter yellow and then this darker caramel yellow, right? So if I have, I am trying to make 3D, which means I have to have a minimum of three versions of a color. So white's a color, so that's the brightest, then baby yellow and then darker yellow. But we don't mix them together all the way or it will just make brown I don't know it's not a good color and we also want the shape color and texture so the texture is using this big paintbrush straight ahead poof 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 it's like you pick up the paint and drop it off and pick up the paint and drop it off like this pokey 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 but we don't have to we can have white show right because the moon is white but we're going to pick up and drop off our colors so you guys ready so we're going to start with our big giant fluffy paintbrush Yay! And then we find, what are the colors that are in that moon? If you look at mine, my moon, right? It's this white, this bright yellow, and then this like mustard, caramely color. I don't know, right? Those are our three colors for our moon. So we can go ahead and open those. Pop, pop, pop. Pop the lid off. And I just put the lid somewhere else. They're full of paint and they get on things, Ugh, right? So I put them away. Get out of here. Put go back way over there, way over there. Out of my way. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the whole moon wet with white paint. And remember, everybody's watching me and my instructions. Don't repeat my instructions. They can hear me. Okay. So I'm gonna use my my big paintbrush and I just go smash. And I'm going to outline, I'm just gonna show you like a demonstration, show you where I, my paintbrush, it looks little, but when I smash it, I go smash, and it opens big, right? So my paintbrush goes bleh, <laughs> But I don't, I, it's gonna make a giant line, but I actually only stare at that one hair that's gonna touch the, the, the line, like this, and I push paint like a bulldozer. So if I get a big glob of paint and I go smash and I push the paint, the paint will make a nice thick bead of paint. So that means I can't wiggle or scribble. That'll make a furry moon. And that's for crayons and markers and color pencils anyway. So we're going to find our white paint and we just get the cup and we just stab it with white paint. Poke! Like that. Poke it. And then, and I just get my, and open it, and now I get my big paintbrush. And then, now I'm going to outline, so everybody pause and look up, right? Because it's white paint on a white canvas, hard to see, but I'll do my best. But I go, smash, right? Look at that goosh of white paint, and I sneak it up, up. I keep my paintbrush in the white moon, but I go up, 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 touch it! And then I let a bead of paint... Oh, it's like a letter C. Push. Am I scribbling? 
No, I push the paint and I don't pick it up until I run out of paint. And it's shiny. That's how I can tell that I painted it because the canvas is not shiny. Now you do it. And you fold your paintbrush. Look, look, don't pick up your paintbrush. Everybody pause. I see people scribbling. Look, I go smash, push. That's all. Do not pick up your paintbrush and go dash, 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 dash. That's incorrect. We're learning this to do other things correctly. Okay, so we're learning how to make a smooth line. So then I get more white paint. Stop. Okay, let me do all the way to the bottom. Okay, because I didn't make, I didn't have enough paint. So I'm gonna land in the moon and then sneak up. Wee. Stop. Oh, I hit the, I hit the owl. Boink. And I didn't scribble or wiggle. I just pushed. Don't pick up your paintbrush. It's a large amount of paint. Let me explain. You know how a bulldozer pushes the sand like this? And on either side, the bulldozer has a pile of sand. Right? Well, that pile of sand is the trick we're using. It's a it's a, be, a big, thick goo of paint comes squirting out the side. And that the large amount of paint is actually what makes a smooth line. It's a trick. Okay, now what about the other half? All right, so I stab my white step. And I go, okay. And now I'm gonna like a rainbow and get to the other, get to the owl and I go smash. Push, boink. And I ran out of paint a little bit there. The end, okay. Now it's shiny all the way. You can't see my, my pencil anymore. So, we can see the shiny paint. And we hold it like a pencil when we're doing this trick, right? So that we can smash our paintbrush and it will open nice and big. But we stare at one hair that touches the actual sh pencil, right? Okay, what about the owl's ears, right? These are actually not ears though. That's not an ear, it's just feathers. Their ears are actually on the side of their head next to their eyes, just like us. Those are decorations. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna ride the roller coaster of her forehead, but I'm above the owl, smash! And then I sneak down, 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 oh! I touched it, now I can ride the roller coaster, push! <gasps> I did it, I got it wet with white. But look how smooth my line is, because I didn't pick up my paintbrush and I just pushed. Fold your paintbrush over and push. And then I need more paint for his cheek and his tummy. So I get more white paint and I go, wee. Oh, I'm staring at, I'm in the moon, letting one hair ride the roller coaster, the lumpy lumps. Who got a smooth line? Okay, you were, who was frustrated and confused at first? Like, what? That's not how you color. We're not coloring. We're painting. So it's a different thickness and stuff, right? So we're trying to, like, do something different than coloring. When you color with markers sharp and Sharpies and color pencils and color crayons, you have to scribble the color because it comes out in one little line at a time. Not paint. Paint comes out thick, right? Okay, now let's get the moon wet with white paint. Just we'll just get a stab of paint and just push it around. And because we outlined our moon, the likelihood that you go outside the lines, it won't happen. Do not clean your paintbrush. Don't get paintbrush on the bench. Paint on the bench. Can I stab the white stab? And now I'm just gonna use like the side of my paintbrush and just get the rest of the moon white. Like la 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 la. And I just slow down when I get in there and, oh, that's dry. Another poke. Poke. Okay. And then, little, 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 little. And now it's all shiny. Wait, let me look. I need the light in the room to help me see where I miss because it's shiny when it's wet. But why are we painting it white when it's already white? We're actually making it wet with white paint so we can change the color of the yellow. How many color values do you need for 3D? Three, dark, medium, light. Well, look at my three colors. Which one is the darkest one? This dark yellow, so that will be my dark. This will be my medium, and this will be my light. So we put the light color down. But as I smush this yellow into the white, it makes like baby yellow. So baby yellow is even a lighter color. Right? So I'm rooting for that. I'm going to actually make 
3D moon. But what's the texture? The texture's important. Do I scribble when I put my little pokes on there? No. I go poke it and poke it and poke it and poke it and poke Okay, so now we're gonna get our, our uh, yellow, this bright yellow. Did you get the, the moon all wet? Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna get bright yellow and I just stab it one time. How come I don't get more than one poke? Because the whole thing would turn yellow. We just need some, some. So I just stab it and I go poke, okay. I got yellow, poke. Uh huh. Bright yellow, and this is the dark caramel colored yellow. We have you don't have this one? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one, yep. So we need caramel and yellow. So we're going to start with yellow first. Yep. Okay, and I got the stab the yellow stab, and I'm just gonna drop it off like little polka dots on my moon, and I'm just gonna try to get it all off my paintbrush. But wherever I land first will be the most yellow, right? So I'm gonna go like this, and I go, all right, uh, this is gonna be my darkest yellow place, there. And then where should I put it? Everywhere else, but hop away from it. Like it's like the yellow scared. Do not get more than one do not clean your paintbrush. I will always let you know. So I got super bright yellow and I go poke, 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 poke. And I keep doing it until I run out of yellow. Oh, I can get close to my owl. She, oh, look at it's turning lighter, 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 lighter. Oh, God. Now you do it. Quick, quick. Okay, now everybody pause and look. So you already have 3D. Do you have dark areas of yellow? Do you have medium areas? When it runs out, is that lighter? That's dark, medium, light right there by running out of paint. Okay, now, oh, well, let me get the darker yellow or the light brown. She looks like caramel, la leche, right? She's like a dark yellow. I don't know. And now I could get that one, poke. Because this is my dark. If that's my medium, this is my dark. So I go, all right. Well, I don't want to land right by where I put that super dark yellow. So maybe I'll start up here. <gasps> Hello! And then less, 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 less. Running out, running out, running out. It's disappearing, turning invisible, and then it's gone. Oh, God. I have a hair on mine. Hey, come on. Remember, sit directly in front of your painting. You need to be comfortable, sit directly in front of your painting and with your elbows bent, be comfy. Okay, well, everybody pause, you dropped it off, right? Well, is that 3D? And it looks like she has a polka dot, no. But what texture do we want? We like this hoppy texture, right? But look at, I, because my white was wet, I'm gonna make baby yellow, I'm gonna make dark, but I just pick it up and drop it off and pick it, and I don't, I'm not afraid to touch my owl or go near the edge of the moon because we're gonna paint over that with blue. So now, and they're, and by the way, they're all evenly spaced apart, so weird. Okay, watch, now do not get more paint just use the paintbrush like a sponge and you pick it up and drop it off and pick it up and drop it off and pick it up and drop it off and pick it up and drop it off. <gasps> Wee! But I do want white left. Don't cover up all the white. The white's pretty. Hey, dark, medium, white. One of the colors is white. <gasps> now you do it. And near my owl. Pick it up and drop it off and pick it up and drop it off. Ooh, ding, 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 ding. Oh, not too much. I like white. A white's a good color. Look how it's making versions of a color. Is it is it all one color now? Are they starting to mix by accident? And it becomes dark pieces, medium pieces, light pieces. We don't add more paint. We're just playing with the paint that we got. Pick it up, drop it off, pick it up, drop it off. 
look at what you're doing. You're changing the texture. You're changing, we know scribble, that's the wrong texture of a moon, right? Moons are lumpy. So the texture's important. The color's important. And then just pause and go, do I have dark areas? Do I have medium areas? Do I have light areas? Yes. And remember, right near the edge along the moon gets very jealous because people want to, are afraid to go near the edge. You could touch the edge. Uh, oh, near my my owl. I could. And if what if I get paint on the owl? I'm painting the owl. Right? I'm not scarred. I'm gonna put paint on that. She's gonna be brown. Yay! Look what we did. Okay, check for 3D. Interesting texture. And then you stop. Because what happens if you keep touching it? Won't it all just turn one color? It's like, yeah. It's like, why well, don't just stir it on a plate and make one color? Blech, right? Well, now I'd like to paint the moon. I mean, the sky. But there's a bunch of yellow. What will yellow and blue make? Green? Ugh. So now we can clean our paintbrush. Watch. So I get a paper towel. And I'm just going to put my paintbrush inside the paper towel and fold it over. And I hold on to the bristles. And I squeeze it really hard. And I get a little turn out. All clean. And look, no paint comes out. It's all powder because I squeezed it so good. Look at There's a big boogie in there. If you want to do it one more time, you can. Fold over and squeeze it. All clean. It looks yellow, but not enough yellow to hurt anything. Oh no. Good job. Now I, we're gonna do our, uh, we're gonna do the bottom of the painting. This part right here, right? And look at it's light. How many color values do we need for the sky to make it 3D? Okay, so the bottom will be blue with some gray in it. And that will lighten the blue, right? And then the middle part will just be blue by herself. Boring. Then what will I add to the top of the painting to make it darker? Some black. But I never let colors just sit there like this. Like here's the black part, here's the blue part, and then there's like a line. No, no. we always let it disappear and become like this misty fog. I drop a little bit of powder black into my blue so it like disappears a little bit so i'm gonna do we're gonna start at the very bottom first and add gray but we want to and you can paint your cardboard easel the cardboard easel doesn't care okay but i want to save my stick i won't remember how to draw it so we're gonna um we could put the lid on our for now put the lid on our yellows and our um because they dry out Put the lid on your yellows and your white. I worry because I have a fan on in my room to keep me cool and it dries out my paint. Okay, now we get to switch. So what colors are gonna be in our sky? Blue, obviously. And then blue and gray for the light area on the bottom. And blue and black at the top. Okay, so where's my blue? I got my blue. Mm-hmm. And I got my gray. Cool. And I got my black. Okay. But I don't want to get my dirty blue paintbrush all up in my black gray. Because I do use gray on my owl. And I don't want dirty blue or dirty gray on my owl. Okay. So we will be careful when we get our gray. So where's my blue? Get it. Let's take the lid off. Nice. Okay. And she's made out of a gel plus the color powder, right? So she behaves very weird. And it makes these stripes because our paintbrush is also scratchy, right? So we need all of our stripes to go in the same direction. So which, which way are the stripes going on the bottom? Mm -hmm. Well, if this guy is attached to this guy, uh, which direction is the texture? Yeah but I can see it in my stripes. And then as I go up, oh, it's started, so I have to go 
flat and straight so it looks like all the same sky. No up and downsies that won't match, okay? So I go, okay, 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 okay. okay. So get your same paintbrush, we cleaned it, see no paint comes off. And then I, get, I just stab your blue so you can get a bunch on there. And then we'll outline, because we've done it once, but I don't know if you could do it by yourself yet. You're still going, what? What does she mean? So watch. So I stab my blue stab. Oh, I got a lot. How come I don't care that I got a lot? Because when I outline something, I smash my paintbrush and it goes, <laughs> and then one hair touches the, the underneath the stick and I just go, she did it smooth. Watch, I'll show you. Okay. I'm going to hold it closer so you can see. But I go, I go, smash. Oh, I'm underneath the stick. And now I'm going to sneak up, 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 touching. Then I push. Look how smooth. Did I pick up my paintbrush? And no, but I ran out of paint. So now I stab my blue. And I go underneath. Stay in the blue sky. Smash. And then sneak up. And push. And if it has a little waggle because you were born human, it's your parents' fault because they were human. And you're made out of blood. You're not a computer printer. So it might have a little waggle. But luckily, this is a stick. Wait, who's scribbling? Are you picking? Look, everybody pause. You're not allowed to go like this. Uh-uh. That'll make a furry stick. I just grab. Push. Stop. And all the way off the page. Freak. So did you get a smooth line? And then when it gets dry, is that smooth anymore? No. When it gets dry, what are you supposed to do? Get more paint. And make a nice, thick, smooth line like a huge, thick bulldozer. And look how smooth the line is. What? I know it's the and are we looking at the whole paintbrush no we smash our paintbrush and we stare at that one hair that touches the line okay now we're gonna make the lines you know fill it in all blue but look which way do we paint up and down no. <laughs> side to side to side because this texture has to match that so everyone believes it's all the same sky right so let's get it put blue on it so I just go stab with my blue and I just go smushy, smashy, pushy, shovey, smushy, smashy, smush. Oh, and then it gets all dry. It won't go nowhere. Well, let me get more then. Stab. Pushy, shovey, shovey, pushy. And you pick up the paint like a sponge and put it somewhere else. So you're like, oh, there's a huge glob right there. Well, get it and put it somewhere where it's dry. Push, pull. And then should I get a tiny bit of paint? Every No. Stab your blue paint really hard. Get a thump a lump on there. And then go push, smoosh. Oh, it's more slippery and darker like a real sky. And then, pss, great. Now it's blue. Oh, you got some on the easel. Is that bad? No. Easel doesn't care. Go all the way to the bottom of your painting. Stab your paint. Nope, don't get a little bit. Stab your paint hard. And get a glob and then paint. There, watch how much smoother that is. Uh-huh. There's thick and smooth. And then I'm also in charge of watching the clock to make sure we finish on time so we can't dilly-dally and go, oh, I'm going to do mine super slow. No, you cannot. I'm going to be done leaving you behind because we have stuff to do. And then when it acts dry, what do you do? Get more paint. You know where the paint is? Don't scribble with the dry paintbrush. Too boring. Yes. Okay, now um, mine is a little bit waggly. Look at it. I picked up my, 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 my lines are not smooth. Now I'm going to smooth it. Everybody pause and look up. Watch this. Watch, look at the count. Look up. I'll wait. Watch. Now I'm going to smooth. Off the page. Wee. And then I do the next row, overlapping that one, smoothing. Oh, it changes the texture. Uh, the texture is important. Oh, I'm smoothing in that row. And then I touch the bottom of that row, and there's no spaces in between. Oh, I'm smoothing. Okay. Nasa, nasa. Smooth. 
smoothing, smoothing. And you could push off the page and fall off the page and push on the page and fall off the page. Because texture matters. Want to see something weird? This is also 3D. Wherever your paint is a little bit thicker with blue paint, it's going to dry darker. Because thick paint is darker than thin paint. So it's 3D without even trying. Okay, now I need my, I dropped my paint. Now I need my gray paint. Can you find your gray paint? I'm going to stick my paintbrush in here, but my paintbrush is full of blue. So I'm going to lick it off. No, I'm not. You guys are crazy. No, I'm just going to get my paper towel thing again. Right? Just get the extra off. And I just fold it over and I go, pinch! I squeeze the blue really hard. Okay. Now let me check it. Oh, no. Oh, there's still a, let me try it one more time. I, I just painted myself. Okay, I need to do it harder. Okay. Oh, better. Okay. I didn't want to stick a whole bunch of blue in my gray and ruin my gray. You know? And then look, it's got on my hand. But when my when I, I wash my hands, as soon as this paint, even if it's dry, gets wet, it'll turn back to glue and come right off. So don't worry. Okay, but now I need my gray. And I'm going to get a scoop of gray. Not a poke. I would like a lot. So I'm going to scoop my gray. Oh, you are so jealous of me right now because I have a huge, disgusting glob of mine. And I'm going to, remember when we dropped off the yellow? I'm, we're going to mix it into this uh, blue. But I just go, la, 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 la. Oh, I put a lot. I, put, I still have some left, though. Look at me. You do it. You do it. Do it. Don't think about it. Just put gobs and globs of gray. Go. You're like, I don't know if this is right because you don't trust me yet. Just wait. As soon as you restart, it comes out good. And you're like, man, I'm smart and I can follow directions. And look how good mine looks. Okay, now we have to smush it in. What color is it going to be? Gray and blue. It makes a soft, light blue. If I added white, I would get baby blue. That does not remind me of a sky. So I'm going to smoosh it in and make a, a softer blue. So now watch me. Just like I'm smoothing, watch. And I hope I get 3D. Oh, I got dark areas and I might hit a gray and I might not. Ooh, ooh look at the different stripes of color I'm getting. You're so jealous of me right now. Look at, I got light pieces. Look at mine looks like water because I got dark pieces and light pieces and medium pieces. That's so pretty. And I'm smoothing and as I do it, smoothing, 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 smoothing. Noise. Now I have light sky. But did I make baby blue? Mm -mm. If I would like to lighten a color without making it baby colors, I just put gray in it, not white. Smooth, don't pick up your paintbrush, just crush it and push. Then fall off the page there. Because look, we smoothed and look at it change. Did you get dark pieces, medium pieces, light pieces? Some parts have more gray than other parts. Do we hate it? No, we love it. That is so neat. And we don't feel the need to scrub it together and make it perfect because how many color values makes 3D? Three. So dark blue pieces, gray blue pieces, and some pieces just are just gray. Nice. You guys ready to do the next part? Okay, now we got to, uh-oh. We have to, where's, this is light, right? Light sky. Then where's medium sky? Me, halfway. Okay, um, I'm just thinking out loud. But I think his eyes is the middle of the painting. Does that seem right to you? I'm just saying, right? So I guess from the eyes to the stick will be blue by itself, right? Look, right? Blue and gray. Blue by herself, then blue and black. Light, 
medium, dark, 3D. But look at where my, my blue and my gray meet, my blue and my black meet. Look when I started to run out of black right there. Is that bad? No. I let my black run out until it literally disappears. Pat, oh. I never let a color just sit there like a flag. No, I make a fuzzy edge. Okay, you ready? So I'm gonna get my blue, I just stab my blue, stab! And I would like to outline this stick right here. Um, um, how do I do it again? You know, you already did it. We just go smash above the stick, smash, oh, now I can see the, uh, smash it, now I can see the one hair and I go down, oh, touching, push. Uh-oh, I have to get it closer to my owl. Okay, there. And then other side. Look. And I land above my stick. Okay, there, I touch it. Okay. Cause I'm, we're, and what if you get some blue on the stick? We're painting the stick when it dries brown and black. Look, I'll show you. It's brown with stripes of baby black in it, right? And it looks like the texture of wood, but it's gonna go on top of the blue. So don't worry, we'll paint on top of the blue. Okay, now I gotta outline. Okay, here it is, here's my go. So right about here is we're halfway. I'm just showing you, don't do it, watch me. But I need to outline my moon. I'm scared I'm gonna ruin my moon. Do you, do you know how to do this? You can handwrite, so you can do this. Watch, everybody pause and look up. I smash, I got a glob of blue paint and I smash and sneak up, whoop, touching the moon. Don't pick up your paintbrush for smoothness. Ta-da. May you smash your paintbrush so you can see the one hair that's gonna do all the work, mm-hmm. And then I can tell I ran out of paint when I got to the owl, so I need to poke more, boop. Okay, now I can do the owl's tummy. Tell me. And look how you didn't get any paint in there. It's a trick. It's a brain trick. Okay, what about the other side? On the other side of her face. So, you know, somewhere near the eye, right? <laughs> okay. And then smash and ride the roller coaster of her cheek and her. Oh, I ran out of paint. Should I give up and go home or start scribbling? No. Just poke my blue and get more. <laughs> I know where the paint is. It's right there. I get it. And we push, and you can see that one hair, when your paintbrush opens, makes a very smooth line. The rest of the paintbrush does whatever. But we're staring at one hair. Okay, you wanna know a cool thing that we did? So who's worried about getting blue paint in your moon and in your owl? You would if you paint like this, side to side, scribbly, scribbly, because you can't stop and you're gonna get it all inside your moon. Okay, but I have a trick. So everybody pause and look up. So I'm gonna paint my fingernails. Who knows, who's watched someone paint their fingernails and they can land right by the skin and go swipe and never hit the skin? It's because we can land perfectly. But what if I went the opposite way and went painting like this? Would I be able to stop in time? No, your hand cannot stop but it can land perfectly. So you know what we made right here? Landing pads. This is a landing pad outline. So we always, we land right there. And which way are the stripes going? Completely straight. So I just land on that landing paint, paint, landing pad and swipe off the page and make it completely straight. Watch this. Okay, you're like, what is she talking about? Now I'll show you, look. So I poke my blue and I go, oh. I land on my, land, not on the moon, but on my blue spot. Look at me, don't look down, look up. I land and swipe, and land and swipe. I land and swipe, I land and swipe, I land and swipe. And I land on the blue landing pad and I'm perfectly straight and flat. And then when it gets dry, I poke another blue, poke. Land and swipe, land and swipe. I land right on my landing pad and fall off the page and land and fall off the page and land and fall off the page. And you, if you go to what, look at everybody pause, look at me. 
I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. What's happening? I can't stop in time, so I go over the line. But I won't if I land and push and land and push and land and push because you can land perfectly. It's already built in. And then I'm going to do it one more time for smoothness. It's already painted, but now I'm going to do it for smoothness. You know that texture. No painting up and down. Incorrect. How do we do it? Look, I see somebody painting up and down. Stop painting, please. It's land, and they're all perfectly straight and flat, even the bottom. So you cannot paint up and down or it won't match and we won't know it's the sky. So I go, oh, now I'm going to do it again, but just for smoothness. Land and swipe, land and swipe, land and swipe, land and swipe. Okay, I'm just smoothing my paint now. I already painted it, but I just want it smoother, 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 done. Oh, I forgot about the other side. You guys are already beating me. Okay, and then the, oh, do, do not go back and forth. We're land and swipe, right? Now I get blue into the other side. Oh, awkward. Well, pull off the page the other way. Land and flick, land and flick. Land, push away, push away, away from the owl, away, away, away. Uh-huh, uh-huh. This is going to be the um, the medium area because we're not going to add any gray or any blue. So she's just going to be medium, very boring. Now I'm doing it a second time for smoothness. First time I got it wet with blue. Second time, smoothing, 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 smoothing. Hurry, hurry, you should finish, finish. And then when it acts dry, do we push harder? No, you just get more paint. As soon as it acts dry and see through, more paint. Keep your, I would even hold your paint in your hands. You go poke, paint, 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 poke, paint, 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 poke. Stop and get paint. Don't dilly dilly. Okay, now we get to do the over, oh, but this. Above the eye, it's going to have black in it. It's going to be dark sky, blackish blue. But I got to outline. But who trusts yourself now? I know, right? But don't push up to outline. Want well, to know why? Your hand shakes. But if we land at the top of the moon and fall down, you're way likely to be smooth. So I stab my blue paint, and I want to outline my moon. How do I do it? Keep going until, all, look at me. This is painted all the way down to the stick with blue. This is all blue. Point at your neighbors if they're not doing it. Look at your neighbor's painting and tell them that they haven't done it. Thank you. Okay, watch. Now I go like this, smash, and sneak down, and put. I'm going to push, and it's just a letter C. I draw a letter C before. I don't care. Ooh, it's all ratty. Should I stop and try to fix it? No. Wait till it's all wet first. Okay. Now that it's wet, my paintbrush will go over it smoother. Now it's slippery. I can do it one more time for perfection because now my paintbrush is wet. Okay, there. Nice. If I get a little blue in my moon, no one will notice because they're going to stare at the cute owl. Oh, wait. What about the other side? That was too easy, huh? I know. Okay, now we can fall the other way, but I go above in the sky and sneak down to the moon and then ride the roller coaster of his ears. Smash above. Uh oh, here I go. Look at sneak down. Sneak, sneak. Oh, touch it. Now I can wee half a rainbow. Oh, I ran out of paint and it's dry. I'm going to do that again. Mm mm. Mm mm. Okay. Wee, okay, and then a whoosh, woo, okay. Don't pick up your paintbrush. We're not going dash, dash, dash. We get our paint brush nice and smooth. Okay, okay, uh oh, now we already know what to do. You did this, so you trust yourself. Who knows what to do? Land and swipe, land and swipe, land and swipe, and then across the top, of course, would be straight. Right? But I go, okay, get my blue. And I, what is this really for by the moon? A landing pad. And I need them all to go the same direction. Straight, straight, straight. So I go, land and swipe, land and swipe, land and swipe, land and swipe, land. Why is it easier this time? 
because we went past frustrated and confused and now we're at understanding, not towards your moon. How come? You can't stop. You push away, away from the moon, away. Land and push away, land and push away. All right, protect that moon. Don't go towards it. You can't stop. So I go, land and swipe, land and swipe, land and swipe, land and swipe. Oh, not enough paint. Now I just got to fill it in. Careful with my moon. Oh, this is a big space right here. These are big stripes on this side. What? This is the biggest space. Whoosh, whoosh. I'll go back and do it twice for smoothness. First I get it blue. Then I'll go back and smooth it. Because right now, I'm like, what is happening? Oh, I need to get it wet with blue first. And then I'll smooth it. Because it's looking really ratty right now. Blah, blah, blah. Ta-da! I beat you, and you're jealous of me. Oh, right now, the whole thing looks medium. Good thing we're going to fix the top and make it uh, dark. Because look how much better the original looks. Look, you guys. Dark, medium, light. Because now we need black paint. Find your black Black, black paint. Find your black paint. Who thinks using a lot of paint is better than using a little bit of paint? I know. The thickness and the smoothness of the paint. And then you get a thick blob of paint. And then you push the paint around like peanut butter. Smushy, smashy, smushy. Right? Going a tiny bit of paint at a time, two days later, you're still not done. You're like, oh my God, it's taking so And what's happening the whole time to our painting? It's drying. Our paint is drying and we're not going to be able to add any black to it. Hurry, hurry. All the way down the side. This side has got the blue on his cheek. You got to outline it first. Okay. Now everybody watch. Now I'm going to add black. So everybody pause. Even if you're busy, watch me. Okay. Because you can go back to what you're doing. So now I'm going to stab my black nice and hard. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm going to smash it on the very tip top, tip top, tip top of my painting. And make blackish blue. Everybody pause and look up. <gasps> Smash! Oh my god! It's too dark, but watch. Smush off the page, off the page, off the page. I'm not making it bigger. I just keep smashing it in. Ooh! It's turning to blackish blue. Ooh! And I'm smoothing, smoothing, smooth. Oh, don't touch your moon though. Now you do it. Hurry, hurry! Stop your black. Let it turn black. Who's more powerful, the black or the blue? And you can stand up if you need to. You can stand up. It's a very tall painting. Don't get out of this seat. Just go plink. And then put your butt, you know, whip, like that. You don't have to get out of the bench. And then is it turning black or do you need to get another stab? Get another stab. Let it be black. Get more black paint. Okay, let me repeat. Is everybody listening? Get more black paint. If it is not black, then you haven't done it. There you go. Now it's turning black. That is black. But what's in my paintbrush? Blackish blue. And I'm using both sides of my paintbrush. Smooshy, smooshy. Okay, guys, ready to make magic? Did you make it black? It better be black. Black, black, black. Okay. Now watch this. Everybody pause. Everybody stop painting and look up. Even if you're busy, watch me. I'm going to try to get this black to fall all the way down as low as she'll go. And I'm going to, it's in my paintbrush, so I'm not going to get more. I'm, what's in my paintbrush right now? Blackish blue. The perfect color. But I have to overlap them all so they don't touch. I mean, so that they all touch. Stop painting. Stop painting. 
okay so watch i'm gonna go okay where's my landing pad it's blackish blue so i'm in the black don't look away look at look at the camera i mean look at the screen oh 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 and i'm gonna watch me run out of black okay watch i'm gonna go oh it's getting less black and 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 then it's turning into visible black and then it's it Oh, let me turn my paintbrush over and do it a second time. And I'm going to smooth it. Oh, because, oh, for smoothness now. Oh, I get as close to the moon without touching it. Oh, land and swipe and land and swipe. And, and I'm running out of black. I'm running out of black. It's turning invisible. I should just should stop. Don't stop till it's gone. And now it's gone. There. Now you do it. And you're trying to run out of black. So it's very black, not very black, almost out of black, turning into powder. Should I even bother going? Keep going, keep going, all gone. Don't scribble, look, look, don't scribble. Land and swipe, land and swipe. If you scribble, your moon's gonna get black in it. Land and swipe, 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 running out, running out. Oh, God. Keep going lower, 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 lower. Lower. Awesome. You know what we just did? A fade from dark to nothing. And then you literally run out of black paint from your paintbrush. Perfect. Invis go. Keep going all the way past your eyes. Lower, lower. You haven't run out of black yet. Keep going, keep going. Okay. And then you're, you're am I dropping off black? Keep going. What if you drop off a tiny bit of pattern? Okay, now everybody pause and look up. Look at me, watch. I need to do the other side. Everybody pause and look up. Look at me. So, oh, so where, I need to get some more black. So I stab my black. Don't, don't look away. Everybody look. I can't tell you twice. Okay, I got black. I'm up. make more black up here. Smushy, 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 smushy. Because it was all dry. Now watch, now that it's black, now I can go, what's in my paintbrush? Lower, land and swipe, land and swipe, land and swipe, land and swipe, land and swipe. It's running out, it's running out, it's disappearing, it's disappearing, I ran out. There, I try to do the same thing, but I have to make the blackish blue again, because it dried. So make the blackish blue, and then it's in your paintbrush. And then you can run out of paint with what's left in your paintbrush. And it's disappearing, 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 gone. Now you do it. It's the disappearing moment. That's the best moment. The whole thing could be black. We could have just stirred it together and our, no. We're trying to make invisible black, dusty, invisible mist, like powder. Once you literally run out of black paint, you made magic. You made magic. You gave it permission to be 3D, dark at the top, then medium. And as you ran out of paint, you literally made light black. It's not really light black. Do not get more paint unless you're doing the top again. And then do the top. So you, yeah, go ahead. And smushy, smashy, smushy, smashy across the top so that we can fall down the other side. And what are we, what are we doing when we're getting the paint and smashing it down like this? We're filling our paintbrush with just the right amount of paint. And then we go, smushy, 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 smushy. Now we can fall down. Swipe, 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 swipe. And don't go back and put more. We're trying to run out, right? It's supposed to run out. It's not supposed to be a black sky. It's a blue sky with a tiny bit of black in it. Because we ran out of paint black on our paintbrush. Okay, you guys ready to do more? I think you need some stars. What do you think? Look at mine with stars. They're not white stars because it looks a little cartoon-like, but look at mine. They're gray stars, right? So it's more subtle, more gentle, right? So the brightest thing on the painting is the, the moon and not the stars. So we're gonna use gray paint, but we're gonna use our stick on the paintbrush and we're going to let our paint run out 
So watch, I'll show you. I put, everybody pause and look. I get gray paint. But am I gonna use the fluffy part? The bristles? No. I use the stick. And it's like a little fingerprint. And I just go, oh, let me see. But they can't go in a straight line. I've never seen stars do that. So watch, they're scared of each other. I got my little poke and I go, poke, mm. and then watch me run out of paint. So that must be a planet. She's humongous. Far away, far away, far away, far away, far away. I'm running out of paint. I'm running out of paint. I'm running out of paint. And then they become invisible and they must be very far away in space. Oh, I go, oh, turn and roll your, roll your paintbrush over. There might be another spot you can use. Keep turning your paintbrush like a little spin. Like I'm making more specks. And I'm hop, 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 hop. Remember, we're using the stick and don't let them be in a straight line. Look. Boing! And then over here. And then over there. And then over there. And then over there. But not in a straight line. And they only go in the black part. They don't go in medium and they don't go in light. And then give them permission to be different thicknesses. When I first get paint, they're humongous, right? As I run out of paint, the planets are farther and farther away from us in space. So I give them permission to run out of paint and become tiny, tiny little specks. Who wants to see a shooting star? I have some. You want to see? See? A shooting star. Who wants to see one of those? You want to see one? I'll tell you. Okay, everybody pause and look up. Even if you're busy, watch me. Everybody pause. Stop painting. Stop painting. Okay, watch. I'm going to get, you have to watch. Please stop painting. I see people painting. Okay, watch. I get my punk. I get one piece of gray. Watch me do it because you're going to want to want one for yourself. And then I land, but don't let go and then scratch it into the corner. Whoosh. Shooting star. I use my stick though, my stick. Look at it, and I scratch black paint off. I don't care. And then whoosh. And it runs out of paint as it makes the tail, right? So good. But I gotta clean my stick off. That's filthy. I don't wanna get that all over my hands. Now let's check our, our, uh, our sky for 3D. Is it darkest at the top? Then it turns to medium black. Then we have medium is blue with nothing in it. And then we have light. Do we have dark, medium, light sky? 3D, 3D, right? Oh, who has a really sharp line where black suddenly stops? Because you chickened out and you weren't willing to make invisible, invisible, dusty, invisible black. Running out of paint is the magic of letting it turn to invisible powder inside the blue. And don't come to a stop! It's just, that's a flag, right? That's a flag. Okay, now we get to use our find your yellow paintbrush. Oh, mine landed in some paint. That's annoying. Uh, yellow paintbrush, look at, this is your most expensive paintbrush, okay? She's, uh, she's eight dollars, and she's called a round, so when I smash her, and remember the smash thing? She's perfectly round at the top, so this is the paintbrush you use to make leaves and flowers, so you should keep this one at home, but you have to wash it out. So any, this is called acrylic paint, which means plastic. So any paint left in your paintbrush will mean it will dry hard as plastic and it's not fixable. Okay, so if you would like to keep this one, you have to go to the, to the sink and bounce it up and down inside the water and then pinch it with a paper towel and make sure no color is left in it. Then it's clean. If you leave any color or plastic in it, it will dry hard, right? That makes sense? Okay, because look how soft it is. I actually like the side of the paintbrush when I paint. Look how slippery and soft the side of the paintbrush is. So when I'm trying to paint and, it, and I keep using the tip of my paintbrush, look how hard and sharp, sharp she is. It's like a needle. It keeps scratching my paint off. 
So sometimes I'll switch to the side and it's more buttery. Right, I'm just saying. Okay, now I'm gonna get this, I need to paint my stick. So what colors is my, look at my paint, my, my branch. What color is it? It's brown, but what's my brown got? A little bit of black. Hey, this is exactly the way we made this blue gray paint here. But I like the stripes of brown and blue. I do not, who's more powerful, black or brown? Black by a million. So I gotta make sure it's brown with a little bit of black or black will cover up all the brown. Okay, you ready? So look at my, ew, mine is already on the edge. You know what? I don't care because I'm about to put brown on top and the stick goes in front of the sky, right? So find your brown paint. Where are you, brown? And I just, and this paintbrush can only hold so much paint. So you don't have to worry about how much paint you get. You just stab the paint. <laughs> now I got brown. What paintbrush are we using? What paintbrush are we using? The yellow paintbrush. Yep, it's all clean and it's going to make smooth, smooth. Way better than that big paintbrush. This one's smooth. Okay, so now I'm going to go like this. What? Well, you guys know how to outline. Why am I even telling you? Do we scribble? Never. We want smooth sticks. So watch me. Okay. So I'm going to put the brown on top of the sky because she's in front. Uh oh. Did I wiggle? No, I did not. And then I would like to make it smooth on her tummy. So I get, I get, a, I stab, literally stab my brown paint. Because she can only hold that much no matter how hard I push. And then I just go push. Look how much smoother it is. Way better than the other paintbrush. Wait till you try it. Now you do it. So I stab it. You do it. Outline your stick. Okay. Ooh, look at, wait. Oh, on this side, I, I got to put my stick on top of, get out of my way, Sky. My stick goes here. So I put my stick on top of my sky. And then how much brown do I use? A lot. How come? It makes it smoother. It'll dry. We don't care. But the thick paint is smooth and slippery and it makes better colors. So what paintbrush are we using? Yellow, cause she's smooth, right? And then do I still fold over my paintbrush and push? I just open my paintbrush and push the brown paint. And I just go push so smooth. And do I wiggle? No. I just get more brown paint. Stop! And I, oh, this stick on the bottom has to be on top of the sky too. So put it on top. And it just looks like dark brown. Brown on dark blue looks like a built-in shadow. I know, right? The built-in shadow, because you can't see the blue anymore, but it makes the, oh, I just landed in black. Did you just trick me, black? Rude. I was supposed to be getting blue, brown. Okay. Push my brown. Like that. Look at, I put it on top. I don't care. Get out of my waist, guy. And what if your, your, uh, paint, your stick is a little bit wobbly? It's a stick. And you were born human, so you have skin and blood and stuff and the muscles, and so you can't be perfectly smooth. If you want perfectly smooth, use a ruler, right? We don't care about that. The stick. And what is the texture of the stick? When I paint it in, I paint it side to side and side to side because that's the bark. I can't paint it up and down. I never seen bark up and down. I don't know what that would be. So it's side to side. So let's get huge amounts of brown. And then, she smooth, she smooth, she smooth. She. So I stab my brown super thick. I don't care. I don't care. Stab. And then, smush, smash, smash, smush, smash. Get sopping wet with brown. Smushy, smash. Oh, more. I need more. Stab. Smushy, smash, smushy, smash. Nice. Okay. Lots of, lots of brown. So thick you can hardly stand it. 
And look at wherever my paint is thick, what happens? It dries darker than where it was thin. The thickness of the paint can make 3D. Well, that's a little bit boring and I do not love it. So, and it doesn't remind me of bark, really. I wish it had a little bit of black in it, but who's more powerful, black or brown? Black by a million. So if I put too much black, my stick will just turn black, right? So I'm gonna just get a touch of black. So everybody pause and look up, right? So how much black? Not a hard stab, I just touch the black. That's enough. I swear, it's, en it's enough, okay? And now I'm gonna put, put it uh, randomly, I'm gonna put everybody pause and look up because I can only show things once. So whatever you're doing, you stop what you're doing so you can watch what I'm doing. Okay, watch. Now I'm gonna go, okay, ding, and then lower, then higher, then lower. I'm just dry, wiping off on a little, there, there. That's all. Mm. Now you do it. Little bit, little dashes, little baby dashes of black, go. Hey, this is exactly how we put the gray on. But a little bit, just some, some black, because we know how aggressive the black paint can be. She will cover up all your brown. Because when they make the black paint, how much powder do they put in the gel to make it turn black like that? A whole bunch of powder. You can tell how much powder of the brown they put in. It's completely see-through. Okay, now I'm gonna get the extra, everybody pause and look up. I'm gonna get the extra, wait, stop painting, stop. All I did was drop off little dashes of black, right? Little dash. okay, now I clean my paintbrush from the black. I don't wanna add any more, and there's still some in my paintbrush. Now I'm gonna turn these into streaks. Hey, it's just like smoothing. And I might hit a black line, and I might not. So everybody pause and look up. <gasps> Wait, oh, I hit one. Oh, I hit another one. Oh, uh, I hit nothing. Then I do another line, but no, oh, maybe, no, yes. Oh, something, no. Then, oh, there's something. Then there's nothing. And I'm just smoothing the, oh, and I'm, oh, then I hit a black one. Then I didn't hit a black one. And I give it permission to have different versions of black and brown streaks. Should I keep touching it and turn it all black? No, I give it permission to be dark pieces, medium pieces, and light pieces. Do not scribble it together. Look, what will it, what color is this? That is one color. We are streaking. Then the next row, we. Then the next row, we. And we might hit a black line and we might not. It'll make it more variant, variations. Okay, now we're gonna make sticks. So look at, I gotta put my sticks on now because I would like to put these pretty green leaves at the end, you know? So I need to put these little little sticks, okay? And uh, twigs are, do you guys know the word parallel? They don't stick up or down, they run next to, next to the stick. Right, so I want. I need. I need a couple here because I would like to put like maybe two and one, right, and then one way back here by his foot. Uh, you know, you know what I mean. So stop, stop planting your stick. And now I'm going to show you the twigs. You guys are touching too much. What happens if you keep touching it? Who's more powerful, black or brown? Black. It's just going to become black. Give it permission to have variations of color. Okay, now I get my brown and I stab my brown stab. Because how come? She can only hold so much paint, right? So put. So everybody pause and look up and watch what I'm doing. Ready? So right here, like it's coming out from under her, I'm just gonna put one tiny little flick and do it really soft. Everybody look. And I just go, oh, hello. I made a stick. One tiny little baby stick. Should I go back and scribble on it and make it bigger? No. I just touched, you know, underneath her. And I just went, or him. Fleek. Done. Now you do it. Just one little line. We're going to put a leaf on it. But we can't put leaves without twigs. They have to have something to attach to. And it's just one little thing. Just something to put a leaf on. Okay, now I get another stab of brown. And maybe, um, you know, because if the leaf is here, maybe 
closer to the, put a leaf up here. So I'm just going to touch my stick and just go up. Oh, oh. I'm going to put a leaf on there. But you know what I could do so I could put another leaf? Make a Y out of it. Whoop. Now I could put two leaves. We only touch it one time. How come? Because every time you touch it, your paint keeps getting thicker and nobody cares about these twigs. So stop touching them. Okay, now how about one back here? Way back here, like where her feet's going to be. And I'm just going to point at this corner, like. So I just touch the stick and I go, look at the corner. This little. See, whoop, it's underneath where her feet are, like underneath her, right there. Underneath her feet. And then maybe one more further down. And I go, point, point to the corner again. Hello. And I could put two. No, no, no. I should put two on this one. <gasps> but look how much lighter this color looks that doesn't have any black in it. Doesn't matter. Everybody pause and look up. I'm just going to grab my the back of my twig and push it down into my branch. And you know why it looks so much lighter? Because the twig paint is wet and your branch paint is already dry. And all paint darkens when it dries. And they're just twigs. So don't keep decorating. Nobody cares about them. Okay, so we clean our paintbrush because now we're going to do um, his, uh, the owl. But the first the first thing we have to do is his shirt. And his shirt has is white with gray in it. Just like how I made the moon. I get it sopping wet with white and then add gray. And then, and then try to help. Remember when we put the black and tried to help it disappear and run out? So it'll be very gray under his chin and probably ran out of gray on the bottom. Okay, but I go, oh, there's brown on my paintbrush. Ew. I'm going to lick it off. No, I'm not, you weirdo. I'm going to get a paper towel. I need a new one. My other paper towel is gross. I don't got that one. And then fold it over. All clean. Maybe more. What shape did I make? Uh, it's a dog. It's a rabbit. It's a, I don't know. Okay, so I clean my paint. Uh oh. Having a giant camera in your face is like a giant mirror. <laughs> it's on my hands. Okay, so I'm going to paint. We're going to do his shirt, which is. Um, you can touch his chin. White can't hurt his chin or nothing. And then what if you get paint on his beak? His beak is the shape of a V. You could draw that, so don't worry. But I have a little bit of brown on my paintbrush. It'll look like a shadow, so don't worry. Okay, it's like a built-in shadow. But I want to, I'm going to outline underneath here first because that's what we do in painting, outline first. And then fill it with white paint. Okay, so I'm just, just like I did the moon, because how many color versions of gray do I want? Three, very gray under his beak, medium gray, gray in the middle of his chest, and at the bottom of his shirt, kind of white. Okay, I'm going to root for that. I'm going to, it's going to be amazing. But what is the texture? What is, what is the texture I have? How did I get that? I went like this. One, one. I make little tiny number ones. One, one. Do I scribble? No. I just touch and go flick, flick. And then they're about the size of a number one. One, 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 one. Like that. That's the texture. Very gray, not gray. Running out, all gone. Okay. So let's outline it first. So where's my white? Oh, wait. Let me put the lid on my blue so it doesn't run dry out. I see it. And I want to use this later. It's gorgeous, right? So I'm gonna put the lid on. Okay. And now I need my uh, and I could put lid on black too. I don't need her for a long time. Okay, where's white? <gasps> Look how much white I gave you. <gasps> okay. So I have a it's a little bit dirty, but not enough to hurt anything. But I'm gonna stab my white. Why do I stab my paint? 
is just the right size paintbrush. It'll get exactly the amount of paint you need. Watch this. Stab the white. Perfect amount. Stab. Don't care. And then watch me, everybody watch. <gasps> Hopefully there's a little bit of brown in my paintbrush. She'll be able to see this. But I go, oh, I need to outline underneath her chin. So I go smash in her chest. And then I sneak up and go, ooh, ooh. Oh, I don't want to see the pencil. I'm going to go on top of it. Get out of here, pencil. Okay, I'm mean. There, and I get white. Stab. Shmoosh, shmoosh. Bye. Goodbye. And I just, aren't we going to go back and touch this a whole bunch when we put the feathers on there? Just get it sopping wet with white. Don't overthink it. We don't care. It's just like when we did the moon. So I get it. Bleh, 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 under her beak. Bleh, bleh, don't care. But the, why, why do we outline stuff then? Because if you outline something, you're less likely to go outside the lines. Just get, oh, just get more paint. Just keep going stab, good. Stab, glue, like, oh, let me scrub it thin, thin, thin. No, get a disgusting amount of white paint and push it around like frosting. Yeah, now let's fill in her shirt. Her shirt needs to be all wet like when we did the moon. So I'm going to stab my white and go, oh, I'm going to do this with the side of my paintbrush. Remember I showed you on my cheek how soft? The side of the paintbrush was. I'm gonna smear it around with the side of my paintbrush. Smeary, 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 smashy, smashy. Get his little shirt. Get his little shirt all wet and shiny. I'm not using the tip of my paintbrush. She's a little bit sharp. So I kind of tilt my paintbrush and scribble. You know, like when I did my face, it was all soft. Oh, mine's all wet now. I'm beating you. I beat you all. I'm faster than you. No. You know why I'm faster? I've done this before. It doesn't make you a genius to be fast. It just means you've done it. Nobody cares. And then look how lumpy mine is. Can you see it? I literally have lumps. You know why I don't care? Because when I put the gray on it, don't I smooth it all down anyway? When I go to put the texture of feathers... Yeah, so just get it wet, like whatever. Because when I do it delicate and pretty for decoration, then I go slow. Right. So who's ready to decorate? Is yours all wet? Okay. So where's your gray? Get your gray. And what are we rooting for? Very gray under his nose. Less gray. Less gray, less gray. But we do them in, everybody pause and look up, even if you're busy. They are rows. A very gray row of feathers. Then I cut off the bottom of those feathers to push the gray down lower. And another row. Then I grab the bottom of those gray feathers and make another row. But do they have to be perfectly straight up and down like this? No, I can go like this. It doesn't matter. But this is the feathers. And how big is a feather? One. 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 The texture matters. Okay, watch this. I'll show you. Okay, so those were all just words, and nobody knows what I'm talking about. You're like, what? Okay, so I'm going to stab my gray. Stab. Everybody watch. Don't look away. Because I only have one. I'm just, I'm just wipe it off. Okay. Now you do it. Just drop off a boogie of gray underneath his nose. Hurry. I see you playing. Go. And never look at your neighbor and check with them. They have no idea what they're doing. It's their first time too. Just watch me. The most uh, important and aggressive personality in the room, everyone will wait for them to do it first. It's a very weird thing. Okay. Okay. Now you did that. Now watch me. Look. Now I'm going to turn that gray into feathers. And I'm going to use the tip of my paintbrush straight ahead, and I just flick it. And I'm trying to make gray and white stripes. Watch this. One, 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 one. Wait, don't look away. Look. Now, I'm going to cut those all in half, those feathers, and push my gray one row lower. It's in my paintbrush, too. Ooh, less gray. One, 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 one. Wait, cut those in half. One, one, one. It's even less gray now. 
And then cut those in half and it's even less gray. And then cut those in half. It does. I think I want to go back and do it twice. I completely ran out of gray. I'm not playing with nothing. It didn't go very far. Now you do it! Okay, we're at the one hour point. So those of you who are babies and very young, you usually can't do more than an hour. I know. This is when the babies get tired. So if you're older than a baby, then you're like, oh, I can do a two hour lesson without getting tired. Watch me. Right? I don't get distracted. What? Okay, now I did it once. Now you do it. See if you can make one, 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 and row, 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 row. And they're just little rows, little rows of little ones, number ones. One, 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 one. Hurry up. I don't see you painting your white paint. You do not use white paint to do this. We are just scratching our gray paint to turn it into feathers. One, 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 one. And it's down, down. Oh, number one, number one. Okay, who? how far did you get your gray? Did it go at least to the middle of the... Uh, I'm going to try one more time. One more time. Okay, watch. I'm going to go back up to the top and see if I can't do it one more time. Because why? Just like the black. Remember we had to push it down twice? Let's try again. One, 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 one. I'm all the way up at the top again. One, 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 one. And then push another row down. And then push another row down. Oh, it's going farther this time. And then push another row down. I'm just cutting those rows in half. Oh, I got way farther this time. Nice. And then my white's dry at the bottom, so it's far as it can go. But that's way better. Who got dark, medium, light, and they all overlapped each other? And you're cutting off the bottom, cut off the bottom, cut off the bottom, cut off the bottom. So it's dark underneath his chin, and you've run out of gray by the time you get to the bottom. So a running out of paint is the trick of painting. I know, that's so weird. It's like we always want to go and get more paint. No, actually, the fade, the disappear, only happens when you run out of paint. I know, right? Now, I would like to make baby brown on the sides. Look at the sides. I made these tiny little baby brown ones. Tiny, tiny, tiny. So I need just a tiny, tiny bit of brown. So how much is a teeny, tiny bit? And I haven't cleaned my paintbrush because I need the white that's in this paintbrush. But um, a tiny speck. Oh, and I'll go. I got it. I got a tiny, 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 tiny bit. Tiny, 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 tiny. Okay, now watch where I drop it off. I'm gonna put it on his shirt, but on the in um because I need the whites help to turn it to baby brown. Oh pokey 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 and then down this side. Oh I ran out that I need it. The other side needs her own tiny poke. That was silly. Okay there. And, and then there. Oh now you do it. I put it on his shirt. And I'm just dropping off this teeny tiny itsy bitsy tiny speck of brown to make invisible brick. I'm going to make babyish, babyish feathers. But are feathers little dots? No, they are not. So I'm like, what did she make? Are they buttons on her shirt? No. Now let's change the texture and the color at the same time. So everybody pause and look up. <gasps> I'm gonna make number ones, and they're straight up and down because you know they use their beak to smooth their feathers straight up and down. And I just go, <gasps> and I just go one, 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 one. Oh, look at the baby brown that it makes. Oh my, oh my God, it's like, invis it's like all babyish and thin, and it mixes with the gray a little bit, and I just buy little dots. Now you're like little, little feathers. Little baby feather, little baby brown. Oh, and go along the tummy, along the bottom. One, 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 one. Aw. Do you see how it's so much? Oh, wait, but what's its texture? Scribble? Hey, stop, stop. You're scribbling. That is the wrong texture for a feather. It's a one, then let go. A one, then let go. A one, a one. It's a piece of feather. And you let go. So they're pointy at the bottom. Flick, 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 flick. Then when you start going fast, you're literally just going like that. You don't go up and down. You just go down, 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 like that. Who thinks that's good? I know. 
You just did that. Who got good texture? And you made baby brown. Mm -hmm. And now it's all fady and fuzzy. I know, like a baby, a baby owl, all fuzzy. Okay, now let's do his sleeves. He has little sleeves, but the sleeves are going to go like this, his shoulders, right? And what if you get feathers on the moon? Uh, the owl is in front of the moon, so of course the feathers go on top of the moon, right? And then it's a brown sleeve with pieces of white on it. But did I just make baby brown? No. How, everybody look up. I see you looking down. Everybody look up. Because look at how many color varies I got. Everybody look up. I can still see you looking down. So there's dark medium and white pieces and they're all made out of a what but should i go back and cover up that brown or that dark brown no 3d dark medium light all colors are good but i put the brown first and then i go one 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 with the white okay you ready so we're gonna put the brown on but this time we're not scribbling it on we're gonna put a bunch of brown feathers so I don't care that my paintbrush is white right now. I'm going to add white anyway. I don't care. So I stab my brown and I just go, oh, oh, you mean, let's make a feather outline. Watch this. One, 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 one. And feathers do point down. They don't stick out. But if they're little fluffs, touch them in. We don't care. Down, 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 down. One, 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 one. And I turn the corner on top of the twig. One, 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 one. Stop right in the middle of his tummy. Now you do it. Go. And then I go underneath his chin, right? And then, oh, one, 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 underneath. And I turn the corner and go under his tummy. Wait, feather. Oh, these are number ones. Everybody look. But ones are straight up and down. One, one, right? Okay. And then fill the whole shoulder with brown feathers. Stab your brown like you don't care. Stab. Oh my God, that's too much paint. Watch. One, 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 one. Bye, white. Get rid of all the white. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. One, 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 one. Am I scribbling? No. I go down one 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 like that. Texture matters. These are are we are we just painting brown? No, we're painting feathers and texture matters. So what if there's a dark area of brown somewhere on your so it'll be a shadow on a shoulder. What if there's thinner paint? It'll be lighter. But as long as we can't see the dry canvas, because that's boring. Did I beat you? Oh, and turn the corner under his tummy. Because we're going to make the meat like this. Right? So we can't just do the sleeve. When are we going to paint the tummy? So turn the corner on the tummy right now. Okay, now watch this. I'm going to get my white and I stab my white. Stab. Everybody watch. Look up. Watch me. Stop painting. Everybody push pause. Touch your neighbor if they're still painting. Literally touch them if they're still painting. Okay, watch. You're painting still. Stop painting. Okay, so I got my white and I go, oh, this is like the gray. Dash, 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 dash. Oh, she looks like she has polka dots. Am I going to leave this white here? No. How many color values am I going to root for? 3D watch. Don't look away. Oh. <gasps> I may or may not hit a white. So I go, six, 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 next row, six, 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 next row, six, 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 next row, and I give it permission to be whatever it wants to be. And I never go back and fix it because if I get dark brown showing through, it's a shadow. If I have a white piece, highlight. So I just go, one, 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 stop. Next row, one, 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 one. Stop. Next row, one, 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 one. Next row, stop. One, one, one. Turn the corner on his tummy. Look at the pretty texture. Do not scribble. That'll make one color. You have to go one, 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 right? You're making little ones. You're slapping like this. 
right? You can, you're not going up and down. That'll be a scribble and it won't be look like feathers. So it's one, one, one. And then don't go back and touch it. What happens if you keep touching your feathers? What color will they be? Baby brown. Just baby brown? No, we're not trying to make baby brown. How many color values are we rooting for on our feathers? Dark pieces, medium pieces, white pieces. If we keep scribbling, what color do we get? Medium. Okay, so what about the other sleeve? If you did this one, look, everybody look. Look up. Oh, turn the corner under his tummy. Somebody's tummy is not getting painted. Okay, now I'm going to do the other side. Stab my brown. Put my cute outline. Dash, 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 dash. Oh, some of her feathers touch the moon and the sky. Do we care? No, she's fluffy. So let's go one, 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 one. Oh, and I have to touch your shirt. Yeah. One, 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 one. Yes. Oh, and under her chin. Here we go. Yep, yep, And then we get to fill in the sleeve. But look, some of you are forgetting their tummies. Teachers, can you walk around and make sure the tummies are being painted? Right here underneath the wings that touches the stick. This is also included. Okay, now I'm gonna go like this. <gasps> one, 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 one. Next row. One, 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 one. Next row. One, 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 one. Uh oh, I'm out of paint. More paint. One, 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 one. Row, 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 row. One, 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 one. Dash, dash, dash. One, one, one. Look at the texture. Are we painting just brown things? No, we're making feathers. The texture matters. Okay, now it's brown. Isn't she boring compared to the other side? I know. So now I stab the white white, and I'm gonna drop it off like little pokies. I tend to put too much white on the second sleeve. I don't know, I get overly aggressive with the white, I don't know. So I'm just gonna drop it off. Poke, 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 poke. See those look like little, little um, you know, polka dots but they're not staying polka dots. First, I drop them off so that when I go and redo my feathers, I might hit a shiny part. I might not, and I like it like that. So now I go back up to the top and I'm gonna do little rows. One, 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 next row. And what if I don't hit a white thing? Shadow, don't care. One, 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 one. Ooh, I went out onto the sky. Don't care, cause my, my owl is fluffy. I think I was overly conservative with that white because I was scared. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, one, 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 one. Next row, one, 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 one. Next row, oh, here comes the tummy. Make the two worlds of the two tummies touch. One, 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 one. They're cute. And no scribbles, right? Scribbles do not remind anyone of the texture of feathers. They're little foofs. Now that your gray chest is drying, what do you think? It's like a little shadow on our chest, huh? Nice. And why do we drop off the white and little tiny dots first? Because if we got our paint and started painting, it would be pure white. So we drop off our paint, then we go and touch it. Right? We can't just get a glob of white paint and start painting. What? That's pure white. That's super thick. What? Cute. Now, and now that the, look at the other side. She looks darker. She's not. That paint dried. And all paint when it dries is darker. So they're like, oh, I need to go back over there and put more white paint. No, you don't. You're looking at it and you think it's darker. It's not. It dried. Okay, now let's do her eyes uh, or her face. But I want to protect her eyes. But her eyes, 
are, are round. And because we're human, we can't make round shapes. But you know what we're good at? Rainbows and smiles. Or letter C, backward C, because that's how you draw a B, right? But don't try to go around, you'll mess it up. Because gravity pulls on your hand, you'll mess it up. So I, this is my promise for you, you will mess it up. So instead, stab the brown, watch me, and I'm gonna go above the eye, smash, and sneak down, and let one hair, and here I am, backward C, push, I'm staring at that one hair, and stop. I'm not attempting a circle, because I will ruin it. I paint all the time, and I know humans can't make perfect circles without tracing. Now I'm going to land, smash, and sneak up and do my letter C. Or I could go like this, rainbow, smile. But do I let my paintbrush inside my eye? No. I go outside the eye and sneak down. Just barely touch the little pencil. Ooh, what if you get paint on your beak? Is that bad? No. We could draw a V. Okay, other eye. Yep. Now I'm going to try this one, rainbow smile. Because I, I feel like I'm better at that. I'm better at that. So I go above it. Rainbow. Smile. Okay. Now I'm going to go around the beak, too. Oh, wait. If I do the beak, and I smash my paintbrush like always, it'll make my beak humongous. So when I do the beak, I'm going to do it really soft so my paintbrush doesn't open. It stays little. Watch, I'll show you. Everybody pause and look up. I'm going to go like this. As soft as I can. Tiny, tiny, tiny. I didn't let my paintbrush open that time. I just did it soft. And the pointiness of my paintbrush just went... She did. I didn't push hard and make it open. I just went and I outlined my beak as soft as I could so it would stay little. I did it super soft. Soft. There. Pushing hard with a paintbrush is what makes it open. Okay. And her face. Her face is over. This needs to be this needs to be my new avatar. Look at me. Aren't I cute? No. So her chin is over her chest. Okay, so put the feathers on top of the chest, right? So I stab my brown and I go, all right, what does she mean? I mean, like this, dash, dash, dash. Oh, I put it on top. Oh, I cut off those feathers, don't care. The chin is on top, like that, okay? That's the trickiest part for me. And then, are these really ears up here? No, those are feathers. Her ears are on the holes inside of her head like us. But now I'm going to make feathers, and I just go, oh, flick, 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 fluff, fluff. How come I'm doing a ratty old outline? Because I want her to be fluffy. So I'm going, dash, 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 dash. Oh, I need more paint. Nothing's happening. Dash, dash, dash. Oh, wait. Look at me. Everybody, look. I cut off his ear. When I did the blue, but just measure it. How tall is that one? Okay, make that one just as tall and put the ear on top of this guy. There we go. And then put her cheek on top of this guy. It was easy to put the cheek on top of the moon, but it's intimidating with the sky. And are we outlining all smooth? No, she's fluffy. <laughs> So she has little tiny baby accidental stick outs. You know what else she looks like? A little Yorkie. You guys know what a Yorkie is? Those little teensy tiny dogs that are fluffy and brown? About that big. Okay, now I'm gonna paint the rest of her face brown. But I do not wanna go one, 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 because those will be all straight like this all over her face. Can we make them all like parallel around the eye like this? Every look. Oh, oh, you mean make feathers that are slightly curved? Watch. This is what I mean. So if I was going to make feathers around the eye, I'd go dash, 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 around, 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 around. Now let me go again. Around, around, around. Oh, 
so they're kind of curvy right oh oh boop 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 and i'm still trying to get rid of the uh the, the white white canvas right i just stab my brown and keep painting and then i go around this side dash 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 around 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 it takes a long time to go around and around Ta-da! I made my brown, and I made her brown face. And then how did I make them? I just kind of went around the eye. And then at the last second, you're like, oh, well, those curved ones won't do the ears. You just go ear, 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 ear. Right? Look at how it looks kind of 3D. Look how you're trusting yourself. Do you have thick pieces of brown in some places? Thin pieces of brown in some places. Isn't that 3D already just by the thickness of your paint? Nice. Okay, now I'm going to get white. And this is, uh, my face always turns out whiter than my sleeves. I don't know why. I've never figured it out. So I stab my white. And then I'm just going to drop off the little dots of white. Because I'm going to go back and add my texture. One, 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 one. One, 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 one. Okay, there. She, my, mine has tick. Mine has freckles. Am I going to leave it like that? Because I don't like it with the dots on it. Me not like it. No. Now I go and redo all my feathers with my around the eye dash 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 but I might hit a white dot and I might not and how many color values am I rooting for brown pieces baby brown pieces and maybe even white pieces you guys ready so I just start around the eye oh ooh, ooh. go go right go go flick 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 Pick up your paintbrush. Don't scribble. Dash, 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 dash. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. And don't go back over it twice or you'll just have medium. And nobody loves medium. It's just kind of there, boring. And then, da oh, I did not put enough white on this eye. Dash, dash. Dash, up, up, over, over, round, around, around her eye. Scratch, 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 scratch. Whoop, whoop. I'm hoping for interesting. Oh, I got some paint on his nose. But good thing I know how to draw a V. I don't care. Oh, and his ears. With a little bit of white in, in my paintbrush, it makes very cute ears. Oh, you're so jealous of me right now. Oh, my God. Look at it. I didn't make it too white. Usually, I pick it way too much white paint. I did a good job that time. Because sometimes I get like, I get like stab and I'm overly excited, you know, because I'm decorating and then I'm like, too much. I could put more brown on top if I thought I put too much white, but I don't want to think about it too much because then it changes the texture, right? Good job. Remember, flickety flickety, you facey facey. No more dots on the face. Flickety flick. It's a texture thing. Flickety flick. Dash, 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 dash. Look at the good texture. Look how much you trust yourself to make floofy, floofy texture. I oh, know. But I gotta clean my paintbrush because I wanna do her eyes. And there's too much brown in my paintbrush right now. I'm going to clean it off. Ew. Get off my paintbrush right now. Clean my paintbrush. Good job. Okay, now we're going to do his eyes. So I want you to see my eyes. Okay, so... Um, around his eyes we're gonna put like he has a uh, white feathers around his eyes we're just gonna brighten it with more white paint around his eyes see then we're gonna switch to itty bitty teeny tiny paintbrush and then we'll fill it with blue and gray 
How come blue and gray? Because it matches this color down here. And then we'll put little strings of rainbows in his eyes and swirl it around a little bit just for a little shine. And then put those black parts, but we cannot put these black parts until we're done with the blue. What if it was black? We put the black, wouldn't we accidentally touch the black and then make everything really dark? So do not put these black holes in his eyes until we're ready. Or it will just smear everywhere, seeing it happen. And his eyes are black. You're like, what happened? Okay. But let's switch to our teeny tiny, uh, teeny tiny paintbrush. Can you find the itty bitty baby blue paintbrush? We haven't used it before. Because our other paintbrush is all dirty. But this is the just right size to do the beak. But what color is my beak? Remember that dark caramel color we put in our in our moon? Not the bright yellow one, but this darker one? That's our beak. Let's get it. Where'd she go? There she is. I find it. She's caramely, yellowy, light brown, right? Who knows how to uh, uh, draw a V? I oh, know, right? And can you make your beak, I painted over my beak a little bit, so I made her beak too small. Could I paint it and make her beak bigger right now? Sure. So I stab my, and this is a tiny paintbrush. So if I stab the paint, will it get too much paint? No. She can't get too much paint. She's tiny. So I just goes, mine looks green in the camera. I'm tripping. Okay, so I go stab. Okay, I got, and look it, it only picks up that much paint. You don't have to worry with a tiny paintbrush. And then now I'm going to make her beak. So everybody pause and look up. Even if you're busy, watch me. Everybody pause. Look at the can't look at my screen. Actually do it because I can see you. Everybody look up. Okay, so I'm going to make a straight line across the top and make a V. You ready? Look how tiny my beak is. That's ridiculous. So now I'm going to go, oh, nice and big, woo, and it's a V. Oh, that paint, the paintbrush doesn't hold very much paint anymore. Woo, woo. It's, a, it's like an upside down triangle. It's a V, and I paint right over the feathers. Get out of my way, feathers. And what color, what paintbrush am I using? Little tiny blue one. Why? Because she could be little. And then fill it in with that caramel and just give it a little scribble. But if it's one color, is that really 3D? No. You know what we could do to brighten it up a little? Put a little white on it. So everybody pause and look up. I'm going to get a, how much white do you think a little tiny beak would need? Like a little pearl. Watch this. Everybody pause and look up. I'm going to get a pearl of white. Remember, if I'm showing you something, you have to stop what you're doing and watch what I'm doing. Stop what you're doing and watch what I'm doing. Please stop painting. Thank you. So I got, if you're using black paint, you're ruining your painting right now. Because you can't get it out of your paintbrush. So I got this little tiny piece of white. And I'm going to drop it off like this. And I just go, I'm going to drop off the white and go boop. And then I use my finger and just go blah, 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 And I just get, oh, it's just a little bit brighter up the middle of her. Oh, but how much white was that? Not very much. I just give a little shimmer shine down the middle of her beak. Okay, now we're going to do her feet. Now I'm going to use my fingerprint. Because look at my feet. There's three little fingerprints in a row. On this side, on starts with the along the uh, the wing, and I go fingerprint, 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 fingerprint of paint. Then I give a little bit of, of white to each one and give them a swirl because we want it to be 3D. So watch. So now I'm gonna get my with my finger, and I go, what? Oh! <gasps> And I just go, okay. And the first one is underneath, you know, where her wing starts next to her shirt. And it's right there where my feathers touch my stick. Whoop. Where my feathers touch my stick. 
One, two, three. And then I can get another poke of yellow. And I'm gonna go, okay, right there, uh, like I'm sewing the feathers and the stick together. Oh, there's a stitch. One, two, three. Cute. Well, that's not 3D. What do they need? A tiny speck of white. So I get a tiny speck of white. Whoop! And I'm gonna drop it off on each one and go polka dot, polka dot, polka dot. Polka dot, polka dot, polka dot. Okay. Should I leave it looking like that? Look at what I did. That looks terrible. No, they look like nails. I'm just gonna swirl it in, swirl it in inside of each of my like fingerprints, and it goes, oh, it's cuter, it's a little brighter, it's more 3D-y, spin, spin, spin. Good job. We're not using our paintbrush, we use our fingerprint. Our fingerprint is the just right size. Fingerprint, fingerprint, fingerprint. Three little fingerprints. Okay, now we can do her eyes. You ready? So I'm gonna get my, uh, my little paintbrush and I'm gonna paint around her eye and I'm gonna make it white. So I get my white paint and I just go, oh, so they're like little white feathers and I just go dash, 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 dash. So I'm on the brown part, but I'm just making it a little brighter. And if it mixes a little bit with my brown paint, I don't care, because it's just making baby brown. And what paintbrush am I using? Itty bitty teeny tiny blue paintbrush. Yay! Now it's just a little bit brighter around her eye. Just a little bit of white feathers. Isn't that cute in a texture? Look how good you are with texture. You already trust yourself. Dash, 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 around her eyes, her eyes. White, 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 white. Now I'm gonna get blue and I just, uh, uh, no, I'll get gray and I'm gonna paint her eyes gray. Watch this. So. Can I make a circle? No, but I can make a rainbow and a smile. And what if I get white in my gray? So it doesn't matter. But I need a good outline before I fill it in. Watch, rainbow, smile. Oh, no, 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 that way. I have to keep stopping and getting paint. Cause it's such a tiny paintbrush. Rainbow, rainbow, smile. Okay, now I can fill it in. Whee! Wee! But once, or not until I have a good outline, can I spin? How come? Because you're human and you'll mess it up. <laughs> well, do I really want gray eyes? No, I need to get my blue. And I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of blue in each one. I stab my blue and I go, shwoo, shwoo, like that. Because what do I really want to make? Baby blue. So now I'm going to swirl that blue inside my gray. Just a tiny bit of blue. Oh, look at it change colors. Okay, teachers, can you walk away? Because I see people that are haven't done steps in quite a while. Remember, it's gray in the middle. It's gray and blue mixed together. It's a light blue. It's not black. And then you put gray on it and tell it to calm down. And then let's measure our eyes. The eyes are three fingers big. Oh, sometimes they shrink. Can you go back and go, oh, that one is slightly bigger. Okay, there. I think it. There. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. Now I want to make it shine a little bit. Can we add a little bit of white? Like on the top part of her eye and the bottom part of her eye. And I, look, I didn't even mix it in all the way because it's pretty. 
It has good texture. Okay, so now I'm going to get a little bit of white poke. And I'm going to go like this. Everybody pause and look up. So I go oh, a little tiny bit for you at the top. And a tiny bit on the bottom. And a tiny bit at the top. And a tiny bit. Am I going to leave it like that? No, I just go rainbow, rainbow, smile, smile. Rainbow, rainbow, smile, smile. Just brighten a little above and below. Above and below, like that. A little bit of white. Everybody look at mine. I just added it, and then I just kind of scribble, 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 scribble. Just give it a few touches. Just, I want the white, but I want to blend it in a little bit. Okay, is everybody ready? Because now we're going to do the eyeballs. And I cannot see anybody's painting, so I'm just guessing. So I'm going to get the black. Where's my black? And the fingerprint is one fingerprint big. Look, right in the middle of her eye is one fingerprint of blue. I mean black. Look, everybody look. Do not use a paintbrush to do this. So I get a fingerprint of black on my end and I just go poke. Okay, so, I, so I'm going to get the black and I touch my finger like this poke. Oh, right? Oh, and then should I swirl it around? No, it's just a fingerprint. And I smash it really hard, right? I land very slowly and land and go. And then go. Ha, oh, funny. Now you do it. I did it with my fingerprint because they're perfectly round. Okay, teachers, make sure you're walking around because I see people I don't I can't tell what step anybody's at, and they're several steps behind and they're going back and repainting their stick when we're not doing that. They're not working on their eyes at all. Okay, so now I'm going to get my uh, yellow stick, and I would like, look at what mine has that yours doesn't have. The moon is shining in her eye. So look at my eyeball, right? Do I have a little white dot in my eye, right on the black part? Uh-huh. But yours is going to be yellow. Can you find the bright yellow? And I just used the stick of my paintbrush. I can even use the stick of the blue one. That'll be even smaller, right? And I go poke. And where do I put it? Well, the moon is way up here. So I'm going to put it in the, on the black, but really close to the moon because the moon is over there. Oh, look at that. She's alive. So, and here's the moon over here. So I put it on the moon side, on the moon side, never in the center, right? So on the moon side. If you don't have your eyes done, your, your, your owl does not look alive. Does every animal on this planet have black pupils? Yes. So if you don't have black pupils in the middle of your eyes, you have a dead owl. Okay, now what about the leaves? All we have left is leaves, look. So they're green leaves with yellow on top. Whoosh, why? Because the moon is shining on it and we have to have 3D. So if you don't know how to make a leaf, they're made like, like we start and stop and start and stop. Do not try to make them in a circle because they will look like green eggs. So let me show you. I'm going to use my yellow paintbrush and my green paint. And I go like this and I go, oh, everybody pause and look up, right? Don't paint. Look, watch me. Look up. I don't see you looking. 
you know I can see you. Please look up. Okay, so I go, woo, stop. Then, woo, stop. Why do we have to do it like that? So that there'll be tips on the end. They're pointy on the end. If you do it in one circle, they're eggs. So I go, woo, stop. Woo, stop. Woo, stop. Woo, stop. And I like the outline first. Woo, stop. Then this one has two. And I just go, woo, stop. And then once I have my outline, how easy is it to fill in? Swipe, 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 swipe. Using the side of my paintbrush, not the tip of my paintbrush. Swipe, swipe. Well, that is green. And that is not 3D, right? What do I need to, I just need to add a little bit of yellow. So I got to get this extra green off. Because yellow, she really doesn't like to be touched. She doesn't because she's practically see-through. So I get a, a little bit of yellow, the bright yellow, and I go step. And I'm just going to put it, you know, the top of the leaf. On the leaf, but like a little rainbow. Whoosh. Oh, whoosh. oh, that's pretty. Whoosh. And it just makes a little shine. A little shine on the top. Whoosh. But look at how green, who's more, more powerful, green or yellow? Green by a million. And then I could touch the bottom, just the bottom of that yellow and help her to calm down. The bottom of the yellow, bottom of the yellow, bottom of the yellow, there, not the top of the yellow, I like it like that. Good job, you guys.